Unlock the secrets to doubling your affiliate commissions with just one conversation. Most marketers will never share this. Every successful affiliate marketer knows that the real magic happens behind the scenes in the negotiations we seldom speak of. Negotiations are like the hidden levers of power in this industry, capable of massively amplifying your earnings with just a few well-chosen words. Imagine taking your monthly commission and instead of a modest bump, you see it balloon to double its size. This isn't just a dream, it's negotiation and action. You see, when you negotiate higher commissions, you're not just asking for more money. You're demonstrating your value to merchants, making them see you not as an expense, but as an invaluable asset well worth investing in. And here's where many affiliates miss the mark. They focus solely on traffic generation and conversion rates while leaving money on the table by not advocating for their worth. What if I told you that by understanding a merchant's objectives and aligning them with your marketing efforts, you could advocate for higher commissions while helping merchants achieve their goals? This is where the symbiotic relationship blooms by proving your campaigns bring substantial value and your audience aligns with their target market. Merchants are often willing to offer higher commissions. It's a win-win. They get more targeted customers and you get a thicker slice of the profit pie. Remember, the core of affiliate marketing is partnership and in a partnership, both parties are looking for growth and profitability. By nurturing this relationship and establishing your leverage, you can set the stage for commission rates that reflect your true contribution to sales. Now think about this, what could you do today to prove your value to your merchants and move that discussion forward? You might be surprised to learn that the key to boosting your commission isn't just about driving more traffic, but about proving the impact you actually have. Think of it as creating your own success story chapter by chapter. For example, let's consider Lisa, an affiliate who kept a detailed record of her performance. She didn't just bring clicks. Her traffic was the kind that made her merchant's analytics dashboard light up with sales conversions. Every month, she reviewed her numbers, noted the growth, and the revenue her efforts generated. But here's the gold. She used this data as evidence in her negotiations. She showed a clear trajectory of how her work increased the merchant's profits over time. Now, this isn't just about numbers on a sheet. It's about telling a story where you are the hero who helps businesses thrive. Your data becomes your testimonial, vouching for your skills and the tangible benefits you bring to the table. Imagine heading into a negotiation armed with this kind of proof. You're not just another affiliate, you're a proven asset. This is why merchants are more likely to give you that raise in commission. You've made it crystal clear how you contribute to their success. It's not just asking for more, it's showing why you deserve more. Now let's take a moment to reflect. Have you been tracking your achievements in a way that showcases your value? If you sat down with your merchant today, what successes would you highlight from your own performance record? You might be thinking you deserve a higher commission rate but how do you convince your merchant partner to bump up those numbers? It's all about strategy, timing, and concrete data. Consider selecting a time when your merchant is likely to be in high spirits. Quite often, this is right after a particularly successful sales period where your contribution has been noteworthy. Now, when you present your case, it's like writing a compelling story. Highlight your strongest points, first the chapters that don't just illustrate hard work, but real, measurable outcomes. Share traffic data and conversion rates, but go deeper. Present customer testimonials, specific content pieces or campaigns that outperform the rest, providing a full picture of your impact. But remember, it's not just a numbers game. Share your future plans too, explaining how an increase in your commission isn't just a win for you, but will also enable you to enhance your strategies, drive more sales, and ultimately create more profit for them, fostering a more profitable, long-term partnership. Just like any good story, the best pitch leaves them wanting more. Prepare a roadmap of future campaigns or strategic moves you're considering. Share how these will lead to more growth, more customers, and more sales. Make them see that investing in you is investing in their own success. Now, let me ask you this. 
What would your merchant see as the most compelling reason to increase your commission right now? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss how you can make your next pitch irresistible. Navigating the art of negotiation can transform a simple conversation into a launching pad for your affiliate marketing earnings. Picture this, you're at the negotiation table and the air buzzes with potential. You lean in, armed not just with data, but with proven strategies. You propose a temporary commission increase, positioning it as a trial. Why? It's low risk for the merchant, and it gives you a window to prove the tangible value you can bring. It's a test drive for success, and who could resist that? Now consider the power of options. Leverage offers from competing affiliate programs, but tactfully. It's not a threat. It's about highlighting your value in the market. Show them that while other opportunities are knocking on your door, you prioritize this partnership. It's a gentle nudge reminding your merchant that your collaboration is highly sought after. But what truly tilts the balance in your favor is demonstrating a deep understanding of the merchant's business needs. It's about syncing your goals with theirs, showing how your growth directly feeds into their success. Tailoring your strategies to not just meet, but exceed their expectations exemplifies a partnership that's too precious to lose. Remember, negotiation isn't about demands, it's about mutual benefits and shared victories. And so, the question that remains, is it just a commission increase you seek, or is it a thriving partnership you aim to build? How can aligning your strategies with your merchant's vision lead to greater profitability for both parties? Let's start a conversation and uncover the smartest negotiation moves you've used or are planning to use. Share your insights and let's all learn together. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. You know, the dance of affiliate marketing is intricate and the relationship you nurture with merchants plays a starring role. Think of it as a partnership that thrives on back and forth, much like a game of tennis, the better the serve, the more exciting the volleys. So you've got to keep those lines of communication with your merchants wide open. It's not just about checking in, it's about sharing valuable feedback that could shape the affiliate program to be more potent. Educating merchants on market trends isn't just helpful, it's paramount. By doing this, you act as their eyes and ears, providing an insight they might not have spotted. Imagine you're both detectives in the vast mystery of the market and you've just found a clue that could crack the case wide open. That's a game changer. As for audience preferences, consider yourself the bridge. You know what your audience loves and by communicating this, you align the merchant's offerings more closely with customer desires. It's a win-win your audience gets what they want and the merchant gets a loyal customer base, all thanks to your insights. So how do you maintain this positive and proactive relationship? It's about more than just sharing data. It's about crafting a success story where both you and the merchant are the heroes. Remember, the strength of your partnership can echo through your joint success. Now I'm curious to hear from you. What effective strategies have you adopted to keep your merchant relationships not just alive, but thriving? Share your experiences in the comments below and let's discuss the power of positive partnerships. Picture this, you've been nurturing a vibrant relationship with a merchant like a skilled gardener tending to a plant. Months have passed and the seed of collaboration you planted has blossomed into a fruitful tree. The roots of trust have gone deep and now it's time to enjoy the sweet fruit of your labor, more favorable terms. Think of higher commissions as ripe, juicy apples just waiting to be picked. Merchants value partners who bring growth and stability to the table. So if you've been consistently delivering value and proving your worth, it's only fair that the pendulum swings your way, resulting in a higher cut of the pie for your efforts. Next up are exclusive deals, much like a secret menu available only to those in the know. Just as a popular cafe might reserve a special blend for its regulars, merchants often set aside exclusive offers for partners who prove their mettle. These partners get the kind of deals that the general market doesn't even catch a whiff of, creating a buzz that's exclusive to your platform. And let's not forget early access to new products or promotions, 
which is akin to getting a backstage pass at a concert of your favorite band. Imagine you're among the first to showcase a hot new item or a groundbreaking service. Your audience gets the inside scoop and you're seen as a leader, always ahead of the curve. But how do you elevate your relationship to that level? How do you take those initial steps and grow them into something that both you and the merchant can't imagine being without? I wish I could tell you that there's a secret roadmap to this treasure, but in truth, it's a journey of consistent communication, mutual benefit, and unshakable trust. Have you ever experienced the joy of reaping these kinds of rewards from a merchant relationship? What was the first sign that things were tilting in your favor?